microtubules in vivo in the cell have very different behavior than microtubules in a test tube. And the key difference is that for any particular tubuline concentration, microtubules grow faster in vivo than they do in a test tube. And they grow much faster, sometimes 10 times faster than you expect. The other thing is they tend to turn over more quickly in cells than they do in a test tube. So what I've illustrated here is an interesting behavior known as dynamic instability, where you can see the microtubule grows, and at some stages it, tr tr it transitions to a shrinking state, and then it starts growing again. And what you can see is both in vivo and in vitro, microtubules are turning over by dynamic instability, but they're much more dynamic in cells than they are in a test tube. And that's something that's interested uh, scientists for the last 25 years, ever since the discovery of these differences between the properties of microtubules in vitro and those in vivo. And we want to understand how microtubules are regulated in a cell in a vivo context, because that regulation is key to their activity in the cell. Building a mitotic spindle, for instance, requires that the activity of microtubules is regulated. One of the questions you can ask, and we always have to ask of biologists, if you're interested in a problem like that, so you, you've looked at your microtubules growing in a cell, and then you say to yourself, I'm interested in that problem. How am I going to get at it? And the first thing you tend to ask yourself as a biologist is, well, how complicated is it? Is this a soluble problem? Can I get at it? And here's a review um, from Rebecca Held illustrating the numbers of different micro proteins that are known to be involved in regulation of microtubules. And you look at that, and it looks fairly terrifying. There's so many different molecules involved in the different processes. But So we decided to go and ask, how complicated is the growth of microtubules in a C. elegans embryo? And we just decided to focus on one particular problem, which is how many proteins are required to make the plus center of a microtubule grow fast through the cytoplasm. If you remember, I said that it grows about 10 times faster in vivo than it does in vitro. So you can ask, how many proteins are required to do that? 